Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Sazare, on how to select an object in the viewport and then have it select in the timeline as well within Cinema 4D. So to illustrate this, I have the car from the automotive modeling in Cinema 4D course. Now if I were to come in and we, we can simply left click on these objects in order to select them here in the viewport. I would notice that when I select them in the viewport, they're actually being selected here in the object manager as well. So if I select the canopy, we can see the canopy being selected. And vice versa, if I were to select them here in the object manager, they're going to be selected in the viewport as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up our timeline. I'm going to hit Shift F3 in order to open that up. Kind of resize this uh, so we can see a little bit easier. Uh, we can also access the timeline up here in Window. Come down to Timeline. Now, uh, we notice here in the timeline, we don't really have anything selected. Even though I'm selecting objects here in my Object Manager or selecting them here in the viewport, they're not selecting here in the timeline. Uh, so if I were to come in, maybe select the rocker, uh, we notice here it is in the timeline, but it's not selected. Now I can come in and select that. I can select any of these independently from the Object Manager or viewport if I want. Uh, but how can we sync these up so that when I select it here in the viewport or if I select it in the Object Manager, have it automatically select in the timeline? Well, one method that we can use is to come into View, Link, and link the view to Object Manager. Uh, so once I do that, notice that uh, we can see the canopy here. Now if I select something else, it's going to automatically update here in the timeline. Now just as a side note to that, it only automatically update if we have automatic mode turned on. So if I have that turned off, uh, it won't automatically update. I have to hit Control A in order to update that. Uh, but I can come in and make sure that uh, my automatic mode is turned on. So we have that update. Uh, we can select multiple objects and have the objects here in the timeline show up. But depending on what our preferred workflow is, this may be a great way to work. Uh, but what if we wanted to see all of the objects that we have in our timeline? Because I have a whole bunch of different objects here that make up this car but I can only see the ones that are actually selected with this mode turned on. So I'm going to come back into view and let's go ahead and turn this link view to object manager off. But instead, let's use the link tl slash om uh, selection. And what that means is to link the timeline to the object manager selection. So with that turned on, if I were to select something here in the viewport, notice it's being selected here in the Object Manager, as I select these. So we have the hood. Uh, but if we also notice here in the timeline, because it's being selected in the Object Manager, it's also being selected in the timeline. So I still have all of my objects here, as well as having the selection automatically update. Uh, so if I were to, say, select uh, the grill here, we can come in and find the, or the vents as well as if I were to select the canopy, have that automatically update both here in the Object Manager as well as in the Timeline. So that is a look at how we can link our selections in the Viewport or the Object Manager so that we can get those objects selected within the Timeline as well. Now if you want to learn some more great animation techniques, check out the Introduction to Animation in Cinema 4D course.